hope you enjoyed that. I do have fun making the little intro. So I've got my new uh, candle for the month, Highland Glen. So I pop it on the window ledge. Hopefully that'll be a really nice smell. Got some flowers from Lidl. I made Romeo Rabbit. I was really pleased with him. I did another PDF for Hugo the Cow. So this is on my Etsy shop. I did uh, January Blues <laughs> in this cow here. Really colourful and bright. Uh, this little sheep, she was sweet. I got lots of the wool from Crafty Fibres and I did a video working with them and I made these little cows and it was a really popular video. They had quite a few orders so I was really pleased. I did this sheep and she's the fluffiest sheep I've ever done. I also made three cows in a cup and my husband just said why but I love it. <laughs> and I also made my daughter this greyhound for her birthday. Hi crafters and welcome to January. So, um, just a couple of things to mention straight off. Uh, I hit 10,000 subscribers, which is huge. And I don't really like to sort of um, go on about celebrations like, oh, a thousand or anything, but I just, 10,000, I can't believe it. And it is all down to you. It, it's not down to me, it is down to you guys watching. Because if you guys didn't watch, I wouldn't be able to keep making the videos. So huge thank you. And sort of along those lines, one of my videos hit 100,000 views as well which is huge um i think it's at 130,000 views right now so um thanks for watching it so <laughs> it's brilliant january has been really quite good we'll go through the figures in a minute um i did pretty well on youtube again fairly well on etsy a couple of private sales and uh, amazon affiliates so i will go through all the figures but just a couple of things you've seen some of the new items that i made i was trying to put some more items in my shop because my shop was really really low um i just wanted to go over as well why do i do this i do this um so that because when i first started needle felting there were certain videos i would have loved to have seen that would have helped me so that's why i do this channel because these are the kind of videos i wanted and why do i make the vlogs is because if you're thinking of setting up your own business i think it'd be really great if you could see how mine is going and then you might have the confidence to start yours and i do get a lot of people contacting me saying that they're really enjoying seeing this side of the business so thank you for doing that but also most of the designs i put out there i'm quite happy for people to copy to make for themselves and to sell if they want to which is not the same with all uh, people because obviously i technically own the copyright of all my designs but i am happy for people to sell things um, because I'm trying to encourage people to set up their own businesses. I think it's a really, really good thing. I would love it if you put your own sort of flair on my designs. That's not a problem. The only thing I don't sort of want to see is people copying the teaching methods of my designs. But, you know, that's understandable. Um, so uh, a couple of things that happened this month. Let's go through. So I did Crafty Fibres um, UK. I worked with that company and they sent me all those lovely fibres and I made those three little cows and that they've had quite a few orders. I was really, really happy with that. And they've sent me some more fibers as well. And so we're gonna have a little bit of an ongoing relationship where they're gonna send me some fibers and I'm gonna create things. They don't want me to do videos all the time, but I probably will do videos with a couple of things because their fibers are beautiful and they've given us a 10% discount, which is in the description below. Um, so that was really good. I also had another company contact me which is superb, Claire's Crafts Creates, which is a UK based company and she's lovely and I've had a long chat with her. We're gonna be doing a few things together, which is really exciting. And I'm also doing a little bit of freelance work for her too, which is something I'd never really thought I'd end up doing, but I'm over the moon to be doing it. So that was brilliant. Um, I've also got, yeah, it's not always positive, it's not, it's a negative thing, but it's not always positive things. Just um, one of the, items that I sent out before Christmas to somebody. They obviously gave it to the person at Christmas. It was a, um, a cow and that person wasn't happy with the cow's head because it was too small. And they sort of contacted me uh, privately and sort of said, could you make it bigger? Now bigger is definitely easier. And I am going to do um, problems with wire armature and how to get around those sort of things. But making something bigger is, is a lot easier. So she sent it to me and I redid it. Um, and sometimes you think, oh, but she was quite right. The head was too small and I should have seen it. Sometimes I don't see the obvious. Like when I did the rabbit, the eye was too big. It was ridiculous. But, um, you know, it's not always positive things. Sometimes you do. I've had one other thing where I had to correct a slight mark in the felting. Uh, so do be prepared for that if you're going to have your own business. Sorry about the bright sunlight. I've taken my glasses off because of the glare. 
it's um just i wanted to mention it's quite hard sometimes to balance um because i've wanted to do quite a few pdfs i want to do some videos for online tuition i also want to um, do commissions or be available for commissions but it's quite hard sometimes to balance up when you get um asked to do lots of commissions it can be quite a lot of pressure and you don't get the time to be creative and do what you want to do i would love to be really time efficient and think every time i make something i'm either going to video it for a video for youtube or i'm going to um, do it for a pdf but that takes away because pdfs take me like three days they just take me ages because you have to stop every two seconds and take a picture and i like my pdfs to be really there's like in one of them there's 150 photos i don't want anyone to be confused about what they're doing in one of my pdfs um so they take me ages but sometimes you know that can take away from the creativity of just wanting to sit down and make what you want to make so you kind of have to balance these things i've got another three or four horse commissions coming up and then I've kind of stopped them for a bit because I just find um, I spend a lot of time on them and that's quite a bit of pressure on me to create exactly what is and sometimes I want, just want to create what I want to create so balancing your creativity with trying to earn money is something you have to think about when you're doing your business. Other business things that I had to think about was I had to order boxes and you think, oh, it's such a minor thing, but it's not because it cost me £45 to order 45 boxes. And I had to really hunt round to get the price down. But I have to have uh, thick boxes because they're, they're called double layer so that when you post something, you know that the box hopefully isn't going to collapse. So you have to get quite specialised boxes, but they can cost quite a bit. So it's all these little things in a business add up to quite a bit of money. Um, I am very, very fortunate with the YouTube bringing in the money that I have been able to order some things that I wouldn't normally order. The multi-tools video that I did, I spent £65 because it had postage as well on multi-tools and I would never normally do that. Um, and then I could test them all out and I've, I just, it was brilliant. And I've also ordered something really exciting, um, which is going to arrive in the next two weeks. So that's going to be a video in the future. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, so a couple of other things, let's go through the figures with YouTube. Here's YouTube then. So my channel got 121,459 views in the last 28 days. Um, and there's my um, how much I've earned, which is £501.67. Just to note, it's 28 days. I'll talk about that again in a minute. Um, so really, really pleased with that. I mean, it's amazing. And I have 10,372 subscribers, which I mentioned earlier. So it's just fantastic can't believe it so go to the daily amounts the revenue just to show you what it looks like so uh the four pounds 13 is what i get paid on the adverts and the seven pounds 96 is what the um advertisers pay but they're down which is fine because it's january but it's still very good but the daily amounts that i'm earning 19 pounds 18 uh down to 13 so it's still really really good up to 22 all the way along and then sort of 17 19 pounds so it fluctuates and i was trying to work out the fluctuation and notice that every saturday i earn the most amount of money so it seems to be peak time for me is a saturday it's not these arrows are videos that i release it does not relate to when i release a video it's the weekend <laughs> so it's when all of us are having a look through so i thought that was really interesting to note and also just to explain, like I said, um, the 28 days is not a full month. So when I reported last month that it was £477 that YouTube were going to pay me, they actually paid me 549 So it was a little bit extra because it's over the 30 or the 31 days. So it's really um, interesting to note that there's a little bit more. So £500 or £501 this month might be about £550. I'm not going to change the figures because it all sort of uh, cancels out in the end with all the extra little costs that I've probably forget, forgotten to talk about. So there you go. I hope that explains that. And then you might as well go straight on to Etsy. We'll show you that. So here's Etsy. Um, total views. I had quite a lot of views. Views is where they just sort of see your shop. They don't go into it. Um, so that's over 3,000 visits was 1,449 
Now, I had 34 orders, which I'll go through in a minute, um, which sounds quite a lot. My revenue was £212, which for January I was really, really pleased with. Basically, the orders are, the majority of them, are PDFs, which have been selling quite well. So, here's my shop. If we go down, there's a couple of cows. See, it says um, in people's baskets. That's a really good thing. I'll just show you the PDFs and highlight them. And you can see over in 20 people's baskets, three people's baskets, 18. So the PDFs are really, really popular at the moment. I think it's because everyone's in lockdown. Um, and so we're all needle felting. But um, yeah, so I managed to get a few more items in my shop as well. So there we go. That's it. See? So that was great. And uh, Amazon affiliates as well was um, £115.36. Something to note with Amazon affiliates is... Um, I have only just received my first payment from them, so you have to wait 60 days from the end of the month when you first start. So I started in October and you also have to earn over £50 per month in order for them to pay you. But it rolls over. Don't You don't lose that money. So I think in the first month I only earned about £40 only. It's brilliant. Um, and then that rolled over to the next month. But I've only just had my first payment from them. So you have to wait quite a long time for Amazon affiliates if anyone starts that up. Um, so that was uh, Amazon affiliates was 115.36. Instagram with sort of private sales was 123. Then the YouTube was 501 and Etsy was 212. Total 952 pounds and three pence. Uh, I honestly thought I was going to be sitting here saying I'd be lucky if I got three or four hundred in January, but. I think lockdown has um, played into the sort of online business quite a bit because everyone is still at home and still doing things. So maybe February it might start to drop off a bit. I don't know. Um, Pinterest. I started Pinterest. So just to sort of mention that because I'm not very good. I don't really understand it all. I've managed to put quite a few things on there, but I have got 26 followers and 88,000 monthly views. And the thing is, I have no idea whether that's good or bad, but I'm just going to keep going along slowly with it. And then I'm going to join some group boards and try and ramp it up a bit. So that was all the figures. I think I've gone through everything there. So things for the future. Um, I have got my craft fairs booked at Yummy Yorkshire. I've only booked four because last year I found that when I went and sold quite a few things all in one go, um, I had to struggle along with the commissions to needle felt things up again. So that was quite tricky. I've got another four more commissions to do. Um, I'm trying to do less commissions, as I said. I have one, two, three PDFs where I've taken pictures. I've just got to write them all out because I wanted um, a few more PDFs on this month. Um, and I'm probably going to instead, I was going to do a horse course straight on as my first online teaching course. But I think I'm going to put on a really small starter video. I've got some lovely little sheep that I've done and they're absolutely beautiful. So I think I'll put that on as a first video and put it really cheap and just try out the platform and see how it goes. But then I want to get one of my first horse courses on. I'm obviously doing the freelance work and then Crafty Fibres. I'm still doing um, a few little bits for them. Oh I, oh, I did my tax as well. So um, here's a little picture of my desk during my tax uh, when I was trying to get it all together. So here's my desk. Things are everywhere. The only thing to remember is if you don't understand what to do, just keep every receipt possible. And that makes your life easier when it comes to it. So because of the way that was, um, I am ordering a book and I'm going to start uh, making sure this year I'm going to order all my tax because... Uh, I don't think I'm going to go over the tax credit, the tax um, allowance. I don't think I'm going to earn more than that, but I am going to have to list it all and I might even get some tax back if I'm lucky towards the end of the year. So, and then videos, I've still got quite a few videos planned. I've got two sort of lined up already done. Um, and yeah, so that's it for the month. I hope you've enjoyed it. Any questions, put them down below, but thank you so much for watching and for making me get to 10,000 subscribers because it's, it's incredible. Thanks everybody. Take care. Bye.